You know, everything opens. I mean, you can do it. You just can't eat in it. <laughs> Look at this, we got a little balcony. Oh, do you see it shaking? Yo, watch out, dude, watch out. Oh, <laughs> I can almost feel the voltage. All right, here we are, Upper Manhattan, right by Central Park. Great part of town, and we have several places to see. And the first place is this building right here. What's up, man? Um, what's the rent? Thirty-two ninety-five. And it's two bedroom. Two bedroom. Woo! And a big living room. Is this the same price as a one bedroom? It's less, actually. One beds usually go for like 35 in Manhattan right now. This living room feels perfect. Look, we got two windows. 13 by 11. Kitchen table against this wall. Mount your TV here, make it a swing mount. Oh, and then next to that, we can have like a couch like right here. That's exactly what I was thinking. And there's a surprising amount of natural light. What floor are we on? We're on the floor. It even comes with morning doves, the upgraded version of the pigeon. Did you release those here no. and then bring me in? Nope. <laughs> Coat closet, all oh, with a free can of super hide. It's pretty much full. Dude, this is like living in a hallway. That's what this is. There's, I mean, apple juice cooler. Got the little dishwasher here underneath the sink. Pressurized. On the fourth floor, look at that. And sprayable. Microwave for TV dinners. Does this cabinet open? Ha! A slight clearance issue. Do these open? What the heck is going on in here? This one's fine. Maybe the door's too long or something. But the overall appliances look pretty nice. You've got counter space for a vitamin water, two outlets, and we've got that all important in unit laundry. Bathroom or pantry? Bathroom. It's bright, but the mirror is above the seat of achievement. But hey, if you're sitting here, you know, you can get stuff out of your medicine cabinet, then you can spin around. Wash your hands from the exact same position. It's definitely lit really well, that's a good thing. And this mirror right here is above the sink. This is the view out the window. You can see like directly into your neighbor's apartment. They should get a curtain. And the shower itself, you can get in. The door opens fully. It comes with a little mirror. One, two, three shelves. And there's a hook for a scrub brush. Look at that, there's a little light up outlet so you could plug in a razor. 10 by seven. We got one of the antiquated heaters. This knob is to open it or close it, but that's not like turning it on and off. Meaning when they're on, you just deal with it. That's a free AC bracket right there. Oh, look at that. You don't put people in danger like your crazy neighbor over there. Nope, not at all. Oh, dude, that's a walk-in. Two walk-in closets. I was enjoying my time in here. This one has exposed brick. Oh, wow, that is something else. Boy, I guess you can see that that's like some sort of garden going on. And there's a little gazebo. This bedroom, eight and a half by 10. It feels wider? A little bit. How do you put the bed, this way or do you have it sticking out? What do you think? I would have the bed sticking out this way. You're carrying a lot of heavy stuff. It must not be far. Uh, no, it's right there. Oh, sweet. Oh, wow. No lights. Okay, even the intercom is not on, and those are usually on a separate power system. Looks like a big place, though. This one is $34.95. Is there something cool up here? There is. Can't hear a thing. And there's actual chirping birds, probably because that's the park. And if you're unsure of what to put over here, the neighbors have a table, a chair, and some Amazon string lights. What do you think? Could you bring food up here? Absolutely. And that means you could have a grill, you could have a couple of chairs, a little umbrella tent. I think you might want to stay away from that box. And those thick wires, where do they go? They're going somewhere. Oh, oh, we got the rest of the building over here. Is this open? Anything cool down there? Uh, six stories worth of a drop. Whoa, these guys have the right idea, man. I think they might even have too much furniture on their deck, plus they got the umbrella. It almost looks like one of those Airstream vans. Aluminum siding, rust proof. Is the door open? No. We got a couple more little tiny houses over here on this side. Yo, watch out, dude, watch out. 
Oh, <laughs> you gotta watch out, man. Yeah, Could have been saving me over there. Could have been deadly. <laughs> the rest of this is like a more compact version of what we saw first. We've got essentially the same kitchen minus the beverage cooler, but we've got the under the sink dishwasher. The bedrooms here are very dissimilar. Both are about 80 square feet, but this one's the best because again, we've got the street view. There's a little nook right there and it has a closet. I like the separation though. That's good. You won't hear your roommate talking on the phone with their mom. Oh boy. Yeah, but it's smaller. Really? Yeah, yeah, it is. Take a hit on lighting, for sure. It's not the end of the world lighting. It is a cloudy day, so we are getting some light. Bathroom here is awesome. I can't believe they fit so much stuff in it. Laundry, that's good. Sink, how's our water? Oh, that's really good water pressure. One, two, oh, look at that. Two medicine cabinets, free toilet paper. Where do I sign up? One D. Whoa. Hey, I see a moving fan. And the stove is like glowing. Yo, Alex. Yo. What's the rent on this guy? This one's fifty-four ninety-five. Wow. Yeah. This definitely feels like a little house. And the layout's interesting. Right after you walk in, you're hit with the kitchen. Look, it has a beverage cooler, same dishwasher. Look at this interesting cabinet. Wow. Oh. That's where the treasure could be hidden. Funky. At least it's clean under there, though. I mean, for a ground floor apartment. Look at that, it doubles as a ladder. Oven might be my favorite part. This is probably the most expensive appliance. Minus the microwave. Fridge looks good. Water pressure solid, sink attachment. Counter space has like two levels, plus there's this interesting window and more interesting drawers. Ooh, there we go. One of those kitchens that the more you're in it, the more you'll love it. The living room, 12 and a half by eight feet, 11 inches. That's from the fence over there to the wall. Entertainment center in the corner. And then you're gonna want some kind of seating over here so you can see what's going on. Keep the hallway clear though, because people are gonna use the stairs. Speaking of the stairs, next to them, we have a closet. I'm guessing this is gonna be your coat closet because I don't see another one. Oh, this is weird. We've got like a triangular closet. What's this? A bathroom. And look at this ceiling. It makes it feel like we're buried underneath New York. Look at that. It makes it look like an old church or an old warehouse or something. And there's so many little corners everywhere. To build a place like this, you have to pay attention in geometry because that fits perfectly and so does that. The light looks a little asymmetrical though. Is that giving you OCD? If it is, just get a bulb cover. This room, 12 feet by eight and a half feet. Love these vaulted ceilings, that looks cool. Then we've got the wall lights. And not only can you see the sky, you'll see your neighbor's feet running around on this patio. If you're the kind of person that wants to look at other people's feet from a basement window, I think you have to take this place. It's nice though, we've got one, two closets. This one's got the double doors. There's a remote for the heater slash AC, which means even though this room's in the basement, it's gonna be the right temperature. Then we've got this hallway, I think this is a door to the basement. Yeah, there's a chain holding it shut. Under the stairs is where your crazy uncle can take a nap. And look at this, we've got laundry down here. So nothing that we've seen so far today is without the essentials. There's no door to this room. Look at that, there could be a door, but there isn't for some reason. This is 15 by 10, so it's awesome. It has real windows looking out at a real New York shaft way. You probably don't wanna go out here, but at least it doesn't make any noise. Is this window any different? Not really, shaft way windows. But if you put a curtain or something here, this could be an awesome room to sleep in. It's got its own closet, lighting's pretty good. $1,300 per person for a room like this because it's two rooms upstairs. Nine feet, four inches by 10 feet, two inches. It's not a perfect square, but for the price, this is a good bedroom. No one can break in because we got these bars. You've got some crazy neighbors down there. Why don't they clean their backyard? Perfect bed corner, closet space. Oh, look at that, built-in dresser. And again, it's quiet. I think that noise in New York City is probably the toughest thing for people to get used to, but that's not gonna be an issue in any of these. And the reason I say that is because this fourth final room, it's got a window directly overlooking this patio, which is actually pretty clean looking from this angle and very sunny. 
Okay, the screen's not staying up, but if it did, look, you could like reach out and grab food right off their grill. Like Aladdin, the lowly street brat who existed on stolen bread. 10 feet by nine and a half feet. Window number two, looking out over the uh, little junkyard your neighbors got set up down there. Closet looking solid. And also look at this, these rooms have frosted doors. That is a thoughtful addition, look at that, you close it and there's still some light. Which on a first floor apartment is usually an issue. It's a workable bathroom. Standing shower. That is a big window. You can line up all your soap. Do we dare open it? Oh boy, shaft way. We've got ourselves a legit looking sliding door. This is the only full bath, so people are gonna have to share it to take showers. Would have been nice to see another full downstairs, but hey, again, for the price, this is a, a penny saver. Look, we got mirrors, hooks, more hooks, and the toilet has a dual flush. And it doubles as a punching bag. Your landlord's gonna love that. Oh, he's gonna keep your security deposit. Oh, do you see it shaking? Might not be the biggest balcony in the game, but there is enough room out here for a table and a chair for you to admire the backside view of all this New York City real estate. This is kind of wild. Look at that. You just see like straight down through all the different apartments. It also comes with a free mask and a massive pipe. Look at that thing. $44.95 is the rent, three bed, two bath. And out of everything we've seen, this might actually be the best deal. Okay, clearance is a little tight, but everything lines up. Just don't expect to open your oven. Ooh, nice, look at that fancy blue inside. It's an LG oven with five burners. Definitely this is the best kitchen we've seen. Look, you could have a little appliance over there. You got a big sink. How's our water? Looking pretty good. Got a few in case you burn something. I think the fridge, does this open the right way or the wrong way? I think this is correct because if it opened the other way, you have to like be in the kitchen to get something out of it. And it is like a narrow little hallway spot that they used. Beverage, cooler, and you see this ledge? One of the three people living here could sit here and eat cereal or take Zoom calls. It's workable. There's also room for one more appliance right there. Interesting living room. It's 13 feet long, but the width is only seven and a half feet. Over here, we've got ourselves some coat hooks. They hold a backpack. But setting this up is gonna require a little bit of creativity. You could get a kitchen table here and then an entertainment center in that corner. There's also something important behind this door that you don't wanna block. This has to be a record for how tiny a bath can be little sink and look at this there's a shower back here it looks kind of tiny but hey it's a full-size bath with a fancy shower head the ground is sticky for some reason maybe it's like to keep you from slipping but if you did slip in here the walls would hold you up there's not a lot of room crazy thing is that this is the nicest bathroom we've seen today by far look everything just like has a fancy element does this light up um i mean i feel like it should and if you do come out of here, it's gonna be in a towel and things in the living room. So just make sure you know who your roommates are. Luckily, we've got laundry out here in the hallway with like a little laundry cabinet. This is the hallway that separates the bedrooms. The shower door here actually slides because if it swung open, it would hit the throne. But again, it's all really nice and three baths or two baths beats one. Plus this might be like a forced diet plan just so you can live here and walk around. Look, they got the hand towel holder up here on the wall. These lights are also super bright. You can make TikToks in here. And there seems to be enough room for you to watch TikToks, which is probably more important for most people. Don't forget the free toilet paper. As for the bedrooms, based on what we've seen today, each 
each of these would qualify as being above average. This one right here, two windows face in the back. This is the same view as the balcony, which is connected to another one of the bedrooms. And this is 10 by nine and a half. Closet with a light inside. Wow, that doesn't really do much because there's kind of a shelf. But look at that, you can keep it on. It's like a nightlight. Then we have this room with the cool looking shelves. This one has a heater and a heat pipe. Same closet with a uh, light. Love the built-in shelves, that just gives us extra functionality. You could have your bed there, you could have it here, because these don't get that hot. The third and best room is probably this one, because it has the door to the balcony. Also, that's an AC slot. If we step outside, you can see the grate on the other side. That's perfect for an air conditioner. Also, since it's not a big balcony, if your bed is in here, I don't think you have to worry that your roommates are gonna be all excited to go out there. Maybe the first day that you guys live here, but after that, it's gonna be pretty old bothering you to go outside. The other window here is looking out over some fire escapes. We've got these things which are holding the building together. I think if you undo that bolt, this is gonna fall down. Rent these apartments through Alex. Subscribe if you had fun. Pick something else. I'll see you in the next video.